All right, to watch this video for Thursday, October 4th. Really nice day in the chat today. You can see the SPY uh, gapped up a little bit, ended up closing about where it closed yesterday. Um, but there were some really nice trades. Uh, I'm going to bring over, I like to highlight at least something every night before I go into the watch list. Um, this one I'm giving props to Buffalo. You can see I've copied and pasted five minutes in. He puts PTIE over $1.30. I'm showing you two-minute candles right there so you can see that probably a minute after his post, it breaks 130. But the cool thing about this is, um, I follow Buffalo in the chat. He's on my hot list, which means whenever he posts something, um, I get an audible alert, and it's also in a separate window in my chat, because the chat room is also kind of a, a scanner to follow the traders that are similar to your style, right? So Buffalo posts that, I read his post, I look at PTIE, I look at level two, I look at the chart, look at everything that's going on. It was already on my gap list anyway, and uh, I got on the mic. Well, I was already on the mic. I had the mic open for the first 30 minutes or an hour. And I basically said, hey, guys, I agree with Buffalo. PTIE over a buck 30. Um, you know, worst case stop is going to be six, seven, eight, nine cents, something like that, or, or even low of day, 10 cents. Um, and look at it. This this thing ended up, by the way, going to, uh, is 299, right? Let's have a glance. Yeah. Went to 299 from a dollar 31 entry, um, which is a dollar 68 a share on 10 cents risk. Uh, something like almost 130 percent move. Um, <clears throat> it's my favorite thing about the chat room is there's uh, people that know exactly the kind of trade setups we look for, and if I'm not seeing it, usually somebody else is, and if I see their post in time, I get to pass it along before the trigger. So as many people that want. Uh, can get in on the trade. And I made money in this one. I made money in um, uh, several stocks. I, the, the symbols are escaping me. Um, VTVT. I uh, actually had several trades today. I don't have any losers, but uh, a nice big day. And here is what I've got on watch for tomorrow. Let me try that again. PTIE, which I already had up there. Um, I'm going to watch this one again tomorrow. It looks like it closed in after hours around 263. Um, so it did sell off a little bit in after hours, but absolutely worth watching tomorrow after that. 59 million share day, right? Uh, VTGN, very strong day to day, closing well off its highs, but we're still going to watch it. Remember, I'm a day trader, so I I fill my charts with stuff that might give me a trade tomorrow. So that way, I'm always focused on the in-play stocks, um, not looking at something that's formed a year and a half cup and handle on the daily chart, right? That may or may not break out. So I always try to stay in that world of the in-play stuff. Um, and INPX, big breakout. I'll tell you what, this was under 30 cents when I said, hey guys, put this on your radar because it's having unusual volume today and the chart's going to look good if it closes strong. Having said that, I never got involved and look at that. But anyway, we might get a, a nice red to green, something like that tomorrow. ATAI, um, unusual volume today, but uh, it gave back a lot of its intraday gains, but I'm still going to put it on a chart for tomorrow. SAEX in after hours. Oh, geez. How, how high did this thing go? I swear, I think this went to $35 in after hours <laughs> and then ended up coming all the way back down, closing after hours session around 16 So honestly, I'm not sure what to do with that um, massive after hours round trip, but keep in mind it closed at 10.69 and then in after hours ended up around 16. So who knows what it's going to be in the morning, maybe back up at 25, 30 and maybe back down at 10. Absolutely want to have this one on your radar tomorrow, though. Um, where am I? MTNB had this gap up and ran and then reversed, then another red day. Then today, a very interesting intraday reversal. Sold off out of the gate, but then throughout the rest of the day, worked its way back up, closing at its high. So that one's a potential long. Hopefully, we get a clean setup in it tomorrow. NBEV, I, I feel like I have this one on watch every day. Pretty interesting chart, actually. The big pop. Then the red day. Then you got the nice pot today. It certainly looks great over like 8.50 tomorrow. So keep a close watch on that one. EARS had this uh, big volume day here that went to 45 and a half cents. Then it took that out a few days ago briefly. Went to 51. Looked like it was going to roll back over. And then today right back up again. So this is a pretty clean setup. Um, I like it over maybe over 50 cents. We'll see. We'll see how it trades tomorrow. Um, let's see. Where am I? PYX. Super thin stock. Uh, I kind of went back and forth in my mind about whether to put this on watch. But you had this big day yesterday from 23.15 all the way to 30.76. Then you kind of have a quiet inside day today. I am going to watch it tomorrow, but just be careful with that one. It is stupid, spready, and thin. Um, AGRX had this 
50 million share day that topped out at 91 cents. Uh, a little attempted pop here, but then right back down. And then a nice close today on a little bit of extra volume, closing, um, well, topping out at 49 cents today. Over that, maybe it starts to come up and challenge these areas. So I like the chart here on AGRX. A few more. YUMA, uh, the baby oils have been strong, and then they kind of round tripped. But if you look at USO, which is an ETF for oil, I mean, still cranking higher. Um, so well, I didn't type, darn it. YUMA, all right. So YUMA has kind of had a three-day high right around 48 cents. So this one's interesting over that three-day high, especially if oil is strong again. LEVB um, had this huge move all the way back, then another huge move, even higher, and that, but it ended up closing red that day, which was yesterday, and then another red day today on much lower volume, kind of getting down near the eight day. So this one goes on balance watch for tomorrow. And then lastly, I've got CRBP, which had this huge move yesterday, then today gapped up a little bit, but then a red day. And this one, if you look at it, after this big move, red day, then a green day, then a red day, then a green day, then a red day, then a green day. And so now today we had a big day yesterday and then a red day. So you got green, red. Uh, not that that's anything to put any money to work on, but it does seem to sell off um, every other day and then find buyers again. So with that in mind, I am going to watch it. I do like the volume on the move it had yesterday. All right. Um, that's plenty to watch. Um, go check out our membership page. Uh, we have erased the the one complaint I always got was the you know the the barrier to entry. You couldn't get in our chat room for very cheap, even if you wanted to try it for a month. We fixed that. So go check it out. I'll, I'll, there'll be a link down below. Um, you can get involved now for seventy nine dollars, and that uh, gets you in there for a whole month. And I, I think you'll only need a day or two to see how different we are. Um, but it's pretty cool, pretty cool membership option now. So go check that out. I, again, the links below. Um, have a great rest of your night and we'll see everybody in chat on Thursday.